Hi, I am Min Chang Xiao. I am a postdoc from Medical Genomics Lab at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Medical Genomics Lab is a CAP certified nonprofit clinical lab, and Dr. Dover Mason is the lab director. We offer comprehensive testing for common and rare genetic disorders, including NF1, SPRAY1, segmental NF, Watson syndrome, NF2, schwannomatosis, or resapacy disorders, and TSC. I would like to introduce our study recently published in the American Journal of Human Genetics. Decoding NF1 intragenic copy number variations, genomic rearrangements, including deletions, duplications, copy number neutral inversions, and translocations, may contribute to various disorders. It may cause Mendelian disorders such as NF1, NF2, and DMD. It may also cause complex disorders such as ADHD, cancers, and obesity. Currently, several major genomic rearrangement mechanisms have been proposed, such as NAHR, which accounts for most of the recurrent rearrangements, sharing a common size, genomic interval, and having clustered breakpoints. NHEJ bridges modifies and connects to broken ends with minimal or no microhomology. FOSTES is a replication-based mechanism resulting from a stalled or collapsed replication work. The stalled strand disengages and invades a nearby replication work by microhomology. This process may occur multiple times it may lead to complex rearrangements. Basically, NAHR and NHEJ are more replication independent, and FOSTES is replication based. NF1 is an autosomal dominant neurocutaneous disorder. It affects about 1 in 3,000 individuals all over the world. NF1 disorder is caused by mutation in the NF1 gene located on chromosome 17. Currently, we have found about 2% of the NF1 patients carry an intragenic CNV. Therefore, we would like to know are there any specific mechanisms contribute to NF1 CNV? We also want to know that is there any rearrangement hotspot within the NF1 gene? So far, Medical Genomics Lab has about 7,200 unrelated NF1 patients in whom an NF1 mutation in blood was identified. 250 patients carry a total gene deletion. 20 patients carry deletions out of the NF1 gene boundary, and 134 patients carry an intragenic CNV. In total, 85 patients have sufficient DNA for this study. All of the DNA samples were from EDTA blood, and this study was approved by the UAB IRB. First, we used MRPA and RT-PCR to detect NF1 CNVs. If the breakpoints are located in big introns, such as intron 1 or intron 36, we used a CGH to narrow down the breakpoints interval. And then we used breakpoint spanning PCR to clone these breakpoints. Next. We identified breakpoints by sequencing the PCR products. Besides, we included two previously published NF1 CNVs with known breakpoints to investigate 
their nature and origin of rearrangement mechanism. In total, 87 N1 intragenic CNVs were investigated in this study. Here is the global view of the 87 N1 intragenic CNVs, including 77 deletions and 10 duplications. It is obvious that deletions are much more prevalent than duplications. This difference is unlikely due to bias of detection from the technique used in the course of this study, as MLPA analysis was, uh, was applied to all samples. This deletion duplication discrepancy could be associated with the genomic rearrangement mechanisms. Interchromosomal and uh, interchromatic NHR between direct repeats contribute to both deletions and duplications. But intrachromatic NHR only generate deletions. Furthermore, non-recurrent rearrangements such as NHEJ in an intrachromatic event also only generate deletions. In this context, the frequency of deletions is likely to be higher than duplications. Regarding duplications, our cDNA and G genomic DNA results both indicate that all of these 10 duplications are tendon in direct orientation at the original locus. Based on this global view of intragenic CNVs, NF1 intragenic CNVs demonstrate diverse size and location. This figure shows the size and deduced mechanism of NF1 intragenic CNVs. NF1 CNVs are plotted in ascending size order. Most NF1 CNVs are small, which indicate that broken ends tend to choose partner ends in close proximity. This table summarizes the rearrangement mechanisms leading to NF1 intragenic CNVs. It is obvious that the predominant mechanism is DNA replication based and a microhomology mediated. Here is a complicated rearrangement mediated by four states times five. During DNA replication, a stored strand in intron 39 likely invaded backward to intron 50. Stored again and embedded forward into intron 46. Stored again and embedded backward to intron 49. Stored again and embedded backward to intron 29. Stored again and embedded forward into intron 46. Microhomology were present in all of the breakpoint junctions. This multiple four stage process contributed to a complicated genomic rearrangement within the NF1 gene. Short inserted sequences between breakpoints were believed to be the NHEJ information score. However, we found in seven patients this inserted sequence could be mapped to reference sequence close to the breakpoints, suggesting serial replication stalling may lead to these insertions rather than NHEJ. For example, Azazu et al. identified an NF1 axon 40 to 48 deletion with an insertion between breakpoints. Interestingly, this insertion could be perfectly mapped to the reference sequence, flanking to the breakpoint. Strongly indicate that 
serial replication storing and re-replication could have led to this solution. Within intron 40 of the NF1 gene, there is a 197 base pair long palindromic AT rich repeat, as known as Potter 17. This Potter 17 is hypervariable in AT repeats. Also, 97 base pair is missing from reference sequence HG19. Furthermore, 46 base pair were deleted in the half of the population. Given that, palindromic sequences are believed to be associated with DNA double chain break. We hypothesize that Potter 17 may be the intragenic rearrangement hotspot within the NF1 gene. In total, we found six deletions were mediated by Potter 17. Through Fisher's exact test, we identified Potter 17 is the rearrangement hotspot within the NF1 gene. In addition, five out of the six repoints were clustered in the loop of the Potter 17 within seven base pair. Inagaki et al. has proposed sequential reactions on a cruciform structure. The enzyme Gen1 could cut the cruciform structure diagonally, and then enzyme Artemis could cut the tip of the palindrome structure. Therefore, this sequential Jinja summary cut could perfectly explain why these breakpoints are clustered in a loop of Potter 17. There are various repetitive elements distributed within the NF1 gene. These highly homologous repetitive elements may mediate NHR in various combinations. Axon numbers are shown in squares the direction of the arrow has denotes the orientation of the repeats. The stars represent the likely NHR events mediated by these repetitive elements and observed in this study. These are two elements do not demonstrate equal recombination ability. For example, four other elements in intron 1, 2, 3 and 50 have mediated NHR more than three times. Based on Fisher's exact test, these four other elements were also identified as intragenic rearrangement hotspots. Overall, 152 other elements and 89 L1 elements are present throughout the NF1 non-coding region. 152 other elements could theoretically generate over 1500 likely combinations, and 89 L1 elements could generate about 2400 likely combinations. However, the majority of the other elements are in full length. None of the L1 elements in full length. Therefore, R2 elements still have over 4600 likely NHR combinations, but L1 elements only have 26 likely NHR combinations. In th this study, 18 R2 mediated NHRs have been identified but there is only one L1 mediated NHR has been identified in this study. Therefore, we propose that other elements are more prone to mediate NHR than L1 elements. Particularly, three unrelated patients K1, 
carry an axon to the lesion with identical breakpoints have been identified. This deletion is mediated between two other elements. Interestingly, palindromic sequences were found near this recurrent NHR breakpoint, suggesting NHR was used to ligate palindrome mediated double strand breaks. Although other insertions resulting from active de novo transposition have been reported in the end front gene by cooperation between UAB Medical Genomics Lab and Dr. Katie Wimmer's group. No other insertion together with NAHR has been reported. Here is an example of alu alu mediated recombination following an alu Y insertion event. This other Y element inserted into NF1 intron 36. Subsequently, this inserted other Y may misaligned and connected with other SQ in intron 35 and contributed to external 36 2.5 kb deletion. In conclusion, NF1 intragenic CNVs demonstrate diverse size, genomic loci, axon rearrangements, and rearrangement mechanisms. Also, the predominant mechanism is DNA replication-based and microhomology-mediated. In addition to part 17, four other elements located in intron 1, 2, 3 and 50 were also identified as intragenic rearrangement hotspots. This locus centered study, based on a large set of breakpoint identifications, provides a mechanistic perspective for NF1 molecular etiology and may also serve as a paradigm for other genetic disorders involving genomic rearrangements. I would like to thank all the people involved in this work. Without their help, I cannot complete this journey. This presentation is only a snapshot of the information provided in the paper, and I would like to invite all of you to read the full article published in the American Journal of Human Genetics. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for your attention.